In this video, we'll take a look at the ATEM Super Source and how Skahoy's panel software lets you animate it. Exclamation mark. Yes! Animated! With our ATEM integration, you can do more than just control your switcher. You can animate transitions between different positions and croppings of the Super Source, and you can save them as presets. And it's perfect solution for creating dynamic, professional-looking productions. Best of all, you can design and customize your presets to match your unique style and workflow. And I'll show you how in this video. So, I brought in the Mega Panel, and I kind of have a second agenda, which is to show you this awesome, awesome, awesome collection of Skahoy panels. We have basically, apart from the three blanks, 15, well, 12, panels brought together into one Mega Panel with really cool sides that bring it all together magnetically. Woohoo! And over here, if you were a producer, you would just have a fantastic time using the panels and the awesome NKK buttons on your ME1, 2 and 3, and you can go up to ME4 and the panel is going to respond to you. And you have menus where you can dive in and you can set the super source, for instance, if you want that. And you can do the same and you can have transitions and all those kind of things. And everything we'll do today is on these two panels over here. So I'm not, I, I just had my one minute of fame with the mega panel and we'll have other videos about that because it's a really exciting thing to bring Skahoy's panels together into kind of infinite amount of products you can imagine. So that's cool in itself, but we are over here on the PDC view because that controls the super source. So what is a super source, you may ask? And that is, as you can see on the output of the ATEM switcher right now, four different sources arranged in boxes. And now you have a classic four-up split and it is stored as a preset. So if I recall this one now, I bring just one of the boxes forth and I recall another preset, and now I have that box pushed to the corner. It's cropped a little bit, and we have another source underneath, in this case, color bars. So just think behind what it could have been. Could have been beautiful graphics that you made, and now we have a, a split view here between two sources, and we can go back to the one which is that fob split that we have. See, that's what we can do. Super source here, but also animating between these presets. So the presets are defined inside the Skahoy panel. This is our part of the job. And when you change between these parameters, we are animating them into the ATEM software. So we are augmenting what the ATEM can already do, but using that awesome piece of hardware to create this effect. All right, so um, can you make these yourself? And the answer is yes. So in order to do so, the basic process is to just modify the current super source. And that happens on these buttons up here. So we are currently selecting input source number one. We can also choose source number two, three, and four. And if I do that, let's just go back to this preset. Because on this preset, now I am navigating or changing the position of source number four. You can see it's hidden behind the others. And I can also make it larger. I can make it smaller. So now I'm sort of zooming in. It's just like a PC camera, right? So I'm just navigating this. All right, yes. And if I um, wanted to have this as my layout, I'll just position it here. Now I could go over to source number three. That's the yellow box. I'll just re decrease that a little bit. Now imagine that you had a graphics behind or something like that. So here is my source. Okay. And actually, if you set parameters in the ATEM switcher, those are the ones that will be saved. So this is just you having a chance using a joystick to navigate or to change size and position of these. So we'll just change the position slightly. Now let's move on to take one of the other ones. So the one in the corner here is, uh, that's me. And I can make that large like that. Okay, it's not pretty. This is not my point. If I go to cropping, I wanna crop that one because as you can see, it's just an output with menus around from the current camera. And I can enable cropping on that button for that box. And as I do so, it basically, my joystick will now either crop left and top or the right and bottom. Let's just try left and top. It means that as I'm pulling down the joystick, you see it's cropping from the top. That was too far. And now I can do the same from the left. So, okay, yep. Let's just take that cropping. Now I move to uh, right. Let's just try that, okay. And the bottom. Yes, okay. So I'm basically done now I'll, uh, with that part of it. If I wanted to crop one of the others, like number four, I can also do so. 
so uh, once again, I need to enable it. But now I'm cropping from the right, basically, and the bottom uh, on that source. And I could do the same for the other two. Okay, now I'm back at positioning, and I want to position my source number one, the one I just cropped, including making it a little bit larger. So let's just do that. Maybe uh, move this out to the side here. That's nice. All right. Still not pretty, but I want to show you how we can save this. So uh, we have a preset selector here, and as I'm paging, you see presets um, going from number four, uh, one to four, five to eight, and nine and ten. Okay, so uh, let's say that on preset number eight, I want to save this. So I press and hold, it turns green, it has stored the settings. And now let's go back and recall number one. We know that is the four split, or the two by two split here. We have this one, we have this one, we have this one, all good. Now let's go and recall preset number eight. And we get the one that I just designed. So that's how easy it is to create new presets. You can do that by adjusting your super sources, save the preset, and you'll have instant animation between that and your other ones. Let's just recall the first one and recall the one we just saved like that. That's how easy it is. If you're just half as excited as I am, you want to stay in the loop with all our latest software and hardware updates, and you can do so by liking and subscribing to this channel, joining our newsletter, or you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and X. And if you have any questions, our dedicated sales and support team is here to help you, and you'll find links in the video description below to all that good stuff.